Now, coming from the technical side, before having uh, a platform to build upon rules, typically I would write test cases, build a harness, uh, get it into staging, deploy it, go through the technical teams and go through this as an iterative cycle. It was very time consuming to set up. It was very tedious. It required a lot of interaction across multiple teams and it really delayed the ability to make a change to the rules and push them out quickly. What we've found is that this is a really significant barrier for business users. So whether you do it technically or, or however you go about building the rules, there's a cycle and a team of people that you have to interact with. We felt that if you can bring, it, bring Jules to just writing rules, you're going to remove those barriers and allow clients to have a faster delivery of the changes that they need to make. Moving forward, we're going to replace our whole layer with Kajito. It's almost a one-to-one -one match with how Kajito works. And we followed very closely with Kajito and Quarkus and made sure that everything we do is in line with the updates or the releases that have come out, uh, even to the point where we've been running dual test scenarios, one using the project model, the other one using the object model to make sure that our rules are going to be compatible and they execute. Our early tests are showing that everything's going to actually transition relatively smoothly. We have a little bit of tooling around how we use Camel K, a little bit of tooling around the integrations because of Quarkus, but our general rule sets that we're building work perfectly. And because Kajito follows that model of building out the object model and deploying it uh, containerized within the Kubernetes stack, it's an exact mirror of what we do. So Kajito is where we're going in the very short term. And we feel that by moving to Kajito and Quarkus, we'll bring a level of scale to our system that even though now we, ha we handle hundreds of thousands of requests per day, we'll be able to expand on, and we'll also start to be able to capitalize on JPBM, uh, BPM processes uh, a little bit more too, because BPM hasn't necessarily been our focus. Our focus is how do we empower users to write rules and how do we let them use them?